I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a video for students who are mainly doing functions and advanced functions. We'll discuss domain range of piecewise function in this particular video. We are given a function h of x which is equal to x minus 2 for x less than 0 equal to minus x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 and is equal to 2 for x greater than 2. From these three pieces, you see the, the function is actually in the domain. It is continuous from minus infinity to plus infinity. Since we have less than 0, less than or equal to 0 to 2, and then greater than 2, right? So that means domain for the function is all real numbers, right? So we could straight away write domain of the function is x belongs to real numbers, right? Uh, some of you may prefer to write an interval notation, which could be like from minus infinity to plus infinity, right? That's the domain. Now, how do you find range of this function? Well, to find range, I'll prefer to sketch the function. So most of the time, by default, what you should do is sketch the function rather than jumping into what you can directly get. Sketching makes th things uh, simpler and you're sure what you're doing is absolutely correct, right? So let me sketch the function now and then we'll get back to both domain and range. We're looking for values which are less than zero, then greater than two. So, so let's say this is our grid. Uh, so these are spaced one unit apart. Okay. And uh, let me draw these. Okay, so that becomes the grid for us. Correct. To sketch is good idea to make a table of values. Let's make table of values for the first one. What we have here is x less than 0. That means the x values could be 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. For these values, h of x is x minus 2. So if I substitute 0 here, I get minus 2. Minus 1 will give me minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So these are my values. Let's plot them. 0 minus 2, but this is not included, right? So that is open circle. So this is like open circle. So x value is 0, y is minus 2, 0 minus 2, open circle. Do you see that? Okay. Then at minus 1, it is minus 3, so closed circle. Then it's minus 4. It's a straight line, you can see. So we can just connect them over the straight line. Arrow signifies less than zero. Perfect. So that's our first piece. Now, the second piece is from zero to two, we are looking for values. Uh, so from zero to two, this is zero, one and two. Since it's a straight line again, minus x. These are the x values. So now, let's graph the second piece, which is minus x for x between 0 and 2, we'll take values of x as 0, 1, and 2. Minus of this, 0 is 0, minus 1, minus 2. Both of them are included, right? So 0, 0, that's our first value. 1, minus 1, at 1, minus 1. At 2, minus 2, 2, minus 2. Again, it's a straight line, so I could just connect them with a straight line. But this time, the line will extend from x equals to 0 to x equals to 2. The third piece here is a constant function, 2. For x greater than 2, the function is 2. Right? Greater than 2 means add 2. The value actually is this value, but here it is a whole. So at 2, it is 2, right? Greater than 2, like this, an arrow. Horizontal line signifies your constant function, h of x equals to 2. So this is h of x for us, and that is x for us. Now, once you have a graph, you can easily write down 
domain range so i like you to pause the video write down the answer and then check with mine right so we can write domain here as equal to we can say from minus infinity to this point is connected let's say this is also connected so it is from minus infinity to plus infinity and the range is from minus infinity to this is connected to zero right so it is from minus infinity to zero zero is included and y equals to two do you see that so the range is from minus infinity to zero and the value to itself so that becomes the range of the function you can always write domain and range in different nomenclatures select the one which uh, you are familiar with i hope that helps right as an exercise you can do another question which is kind of you could write another function as f of x equals to let's say two pieces 2x minus 1 for x greater than 1 and equals to x squared for x less than minus 1 correct now you can see that the domain there is a discontinuity in domain right we are not including the domain between 1 and minus 1 so be careful when you sketch and write down your domain range i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best